Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be looking at another weapon variant and more specifically the legendary emissary. Now the emissary is a variant of the CR-56 Amax, which is of course the Galil from Black Ops. Now as per usual with these videos, we're going to be looking at the original class for the weapon variant, come up with some pros and cons and then look to alter the class based on the cons to try and create a much better variant. Now even though I'm going to be changing the weapons, I'm not just going to be completely scrapping all of the attachments. I'm just going to try and leave the variant as original as possible and only alter a few attachments. Now if you guys didn't know, you unlock the emissary at tier 100 of the season 4 battle pass along with various other weapon variants. But of course the two main variants for season 4 are for the new CR56 and the new Fennec. Now the emissary has a beautiful black and gold theme and I don't think the designers have gone super overboard here. I think they've left it very minimalistic and simple which makes it look clean and sharp. Now before I start with the original class setup for the emissary I just want to remind you guys to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I will be uploading regularly every Monday to Friday. As always before I jump into my class setup I'm just going to quickly run you guys through my perks and equipment starting off with the perks. Slot 1 I use quick fix, slot 2 I use ghost and slot 3 I use battle height. As usual I use stim for my tactical and then c4 for my lethal. This tends to be my go to in terms of the basic class setup. Now onto the class setup for the emissary and starting off we have the compensator. This will just give you that extra recoil control but you will be sacrificing some ADS speed and aiming stability. Next we have the commando foregrip and I pretty much use this foregrip for every single AR. I just think it offers the most balanced upgrade for an AR. The foregrip helps to improve recoil stabilization and aiming stability. We then have the FSS 8.3 intruder. This increases your ADS speed and movement speed but you do lose some bullet velocity and recoil control. This just means the amount of damage your weapon does at range will be lower so it might take you an extra bullet to kill someone. Next we have the XRK CR56 rubberized wrap. This will sacrifice aiming stability but your recoil control will have been increased. And finally we have the FTAC Spartan stock. This stock increases aim, walking, movement speed which just basically means when you're aiming down sights you can stray from left to right quicker which I like a lot for an AR. It should be able to do that. Now my first impressions for this weapon variant are that they've tried to incorporate a lot of mobility with the increase in ability to strafe quicker and the shorter barrel but they have sacrificed a lot of aiming stability and range to do this so effectively i think they've tried to make the cr56 more of a closer range weapon more of a hybrid to bridge the gap between the standard ar and the close ranged smg now for the pros and the cons and starting off with the pros i like the fact that the reduction in barrel size hasn't affected the cr56 ability to absolutely shred at close to medium range the gun is is still extremely lethal and still has the ability to two bullet someone if you get that headshot hit. The mobility is an issue with the CR56. I think it is your typical post up on a head glitch AR and pick people off at range. I think that this is what the gun is good for and this variant has definitely increased the mobility and you can definitely feel it. You don't feel like a slug crossing from one side of the map to the other. This variant offers you that increase in mobility so you can get back into the fight quicker. Now the biggest positive that I took from using the emissary was that you had the ability to strafe at speed with this gun. The FTAC Spartan stock gave you that and with this game being so much about knowing where the other team is and pre-aiming a spot because you know that they're going to be there, this extra strafing speed just allows you to outmaneuver your opponent more. Now I do believe the pros outweigh the cons but that doesn't mean to say there aren't any. The first downside to this variant is that you are losing a lot of aiming stability and recoil control so being able to control the recoil at those longer ranges is a bit harder which is why I think this weapon is built for the medium gun battle. And to back up the fact that this gun isn't really built for those longer ranges, the damage at the longer ranges sees a drop off with the FSS intruder barrel. This just means that it might take you an extra bullet to kill someone at a longer range, but I do like the mobility this barrel gives you. Now taking the pros and cons into account, I have swapped out the compensator for the monolithic suppressor. This will just increase your stealth by suppressing the sound made by the weapon, but most importantly this increases the damage range, which addresses the second issue I had. Secondly, I swapped out the rubberized wrap for the stippled wrap because I felt like the emissary's ADS time and sprint to fire speed is super low and it definitely needed boosting. Now like I always say if you guys want to use a different attachment or a different set of perks then by all means do so. This video is literally only a guide on what I would change to the emissary from my own personal experience. As always this class setup will be down in the description below. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. I will be doing more class setups and modern warfare videos. I'd just like to remind you all to leave a like on the video if you found it useful. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and as always this has been your boy Flash. Thank you.